Haven't done this in a while. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, JC, and welcome back to my channel once again. And where have I been lately? Well, three words. Sonic the Hedgehog, man. Like, seriously, I've been a fan of this blue little guy since I was a little guy myself. It's really cool to see him back into business, being actually good again as a game series, and it's something that really made me happy, honestly, and there's a whole reveal for it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, two new games got announced for Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm a huge Sonic fan. Basically, every video I have on this channel has Sonic music in the background. I'm a huge fan, and two games got announced for the guy. One that's for classic fans, and one that's for me, the modern fan of Sonic who grew up with Sonic Adventure and stuff. And it's just really cool to see that kind of support for this series when it's been so much hate for so long and to see it sort of jump back really quickly out of nowhere was really, really awesome. But anyways, to get to the video today, today's video is a zombie's best and worst. If you don't know what that is, basically what I do is I take the best thing of the map and the worst thing and I just basically talk about them in a commentary style video. So we're talking about the worst and the best thing about Garad Kroby today. So the absolute worst thing, let's go ahead and start with the worst. The worst thing has to be this. So sad. I, 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 I can't explain it. <laughs> Why is it, Treyarch, that we can never have nice things? You advertise the Shadow Claws as this amazing new thing in the trailer. It looked like it had explosive shots because of the napalm zombies in the trailer, and it looked like it was really good. And I was like, holy crap, that thing looks awesome. I use it in the game, and it's like this. What is this? <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> well played, Blundell. Well played. I know what you're doing, though. You wanted to have a crappy weapon in the box again, so that way we have something like the SMR. We can make jokes about it. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I don't have any jokes about the Shadow Claw, though. There's really nothing I can really say about it. I mean, it's it's pretty bad uh, unless you upgrade it, but just in terms of the worst part about this map, it's probably every single time I spin the box and get that weapon, it, especially on solo. Like, what am I gonna do with this thing on solo? It's not like I can just shoot up in the air and revive myself with it, you know? It's, that's not gonna happen at all. I know it's kinda like a weird decision to say that the Shadow Claws are the worst thing about the map, when in all reality, they're actually pretty good when you get them upgraded. It's just that I really can't think of anything that's absolutely terrible in this map. There's not really anything that makes me go, oh, that's absolutely garbage. I do not like that in this map. So I'd have to say getting the Shadow Claws out of the box, especially due to the fact that they were advertised as a good weapon in the trailer, it just kind of, it was a letdown. It was a pretty big letdown, honestly. Maybe there was some hidden meaning by putting the Shadow Claws in the game. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. There is one thing, though, that sort of comes to mind. You got this, Sonic. Aside from that, though, moving into the best part about Garod Kroby, the best part about the map has got to be, and this is gonna sound really stupid to say, but I think it's just the flow of the map, how it plays. It's so fast paced, everything is just thrown at you so fast, your objectives, everything you do is fast paced with the goal of continuing the rounds and keeping you going throughout the map, and everything just sort of, you know, circles around and connects to each other really well. There's not really too many moments where you run to one side of the map and you're like, oh, that's it, I have to run all the way back. There's always an escape route in some areas, there's always the dragons on each side of the map that links back to spawn, that links to the Pack-a-Punch. Everything is just linked together in one circle, and it's a very, very Darice-style layout. Like, the entire map feels like a 
upgraded Doris, an upgraded Ascension almost. Everything is just connected, everything is fast paced. The time attack trials are really, really cool, especially due to the fact that they make the player change up their tactics in the starting rounds. I know myself, I never bought the RK5, ever. I would always keep the starting pistol every single time on every single zombies map. I would always have the Colt every single time, and I would never buy a gun until I got to like the Thompson, or I got to the MP40, or I got to the CUDA, or I got to the VMP, you know? I never really bought any of the wall weapons in the map, but with this map, Treyarch is like, you know what, let's change the game up. Let's make the players do something different at the start that also increases the playtime and also just excels how fast paced the map is. And just overall, I just love the flow of this map. Just everything worked really, really well. I love the fact that Pack-a-Punch is pretty simple. You have to do these Groff module things and the Groff module things aren't tedious because you're doing all this mid round and there's randomness to it as well. So it's not just the same thing every single game. You don't know where these Groff modules are gonna come down. You kill zombies next to them and then later you can actually do the Groff modules again to get some power-ups and things like that and just everything in this map even with the easter egg it's all got to do with killing zombies going fast and just having a blast on the map and it feels really fresh for black ops 3 but it's also just very classic feeling in the way that this map plays it just feels like a classic zombies map which is what i love the most that's the best part about the map for me so yeah i guess the reason why i love this map so much is because you gotta go fast <laughs> But anyways guys, that wraps up this quick little video for today, but as always, leave in the comments below what is your best and worst for Garage Crowvin. You guys know I'll read the comments as always. I mean, what do you take me for? A bunch of scrubs? But yeah, that's about it. This video was really sarcastic. I'm not sure why. It's 3.31 when I'm recording this though, so maybe it has to do with the fact that I'm very tired. Not entirely sure about that, but then again, my entire sleep schedule is screwed up from that Easter egg still, so... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this video was. It was a zombie's best and worst though. We used to do these all the time back in the day. If you were ever there, might have been. Not entirely sure. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm rambling at this point. This has been me, JC, and I will see you guys on the next. On the next. <coughs> on the next video. May we meet again. Have a good one, guys.